Hi, I'm Ward Blackwell. Welcome to Front Street 411. The September-October issue of the Pennsylvania Dental Journal is a special edition that spotlights women in dentistry. Now, this issue features the inspirational stories of some extraordinary members from across the state as they discuss the challenges and opportunities they've encountered during their professional journeys. In addition, the members of PDA's Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee have collaborated on two feature stories in this issue. Now, the print version should be arriving in your mailboxes soon, but the digital edition is already available on the PDA website and PDA Go app. And uh, speaking of women in dentistry, Dr. Marnie Oakley has been named Dean of the University of Pittsburgh School of Dental Medicine. Now, Dr. Oakley is a Pitt Dental Medicine graduate and has actually been working there in multiple roles for almost 30 years, most recently as the school's interim dean. On behalf of PDA, I'd like to say congratulations and thanks to Dr. Oakley for dropping by the PDA reception in Orlando during SmileCon so uh, PDA leaders could chat with PA's newest dental school dean. And then, as happened last year, PDA's Instagram account was taken over by two of our younger members who showed us around SmileCon. The refreshing takes of Dr. Zwin and Yap on all the learning and fun, well, it shouldn't be missed. Just tap the highlights feature SmileCon23 on PDA's Instagram feed. Also in conjunction with SmileCon, the ADA House of Delegates, or HOD, met. And our PDA delegation who represented us there, well, they made us proud. From campaign speeches to reference committee service to testifying on issues, PDA made its presence felt. And when we weren't all together, everyone made sure to check in from whatever hearing they were in. Now, <laughs> some of those check-ins I guess they kind of exemplified the energy and enthusiasm of our delegation. But no one kept us on our toes quite like Dr. Seth Walbridge, who always seemed to have a unique vantage point. <laughs> but most of the HOD meeting is serious work, and our group was all business when important issues were being debated. Significant actions that were taken by this year's HOD included measures that urge DICOM standards development, um, improvements in Medicare for the few dental benefits that are covered because they're associated with a critical medical procedure, um, more studying of the licensure slash compact policy, transparency in some CODA standards, working more closely with community health centers, appropriately handling non-members advertising that they're members, and most importantly, a $30 dues decrease. Yep, a dues decrease. Now, I can't think of anything better than getting all the great benefits of membership you can get right now for less. So I'll just stop right there. Hope to join a lot of you in two weeks at the PDA Leadership Conference in Wilkes-Barre.